In this tutorial, I'll show you how we can make this 3D cube slider in your WordPress website by using Elementor. Here when you change this slider by clicking on these arrows or by these dots, you can see this beautiful 3D effect. So inside this slider, here you can use both images or any videos. And here at the bottom you can also see some text which is also changing with our slider. Cool! So without any further ado, let's see how can we make that. Okay, so before starting, I want to say that here we are going to make our this slider by using the Elementor Pro. So if you don't have Elementor Pro, you can quickly get this from my link on the description. Now first of all, let's take a container and inside that we will take our this 3D cube slider. So here, if you don't find this container option, you just need to go to this experiment tab under this Elementor option and from here make sure you have enabled this flexbox container option okay now let's go back to here and for our this container first of all i want to make it to full height so make it to 100 vh and inside that i want to make all of the content to vertical and then center so from the items make the justify content to center now let's add a media carousel widget inside that and from the slides option, we can set the image for each of our these slides. So for the first slide, let's upload an image, this one. For this one, let's add another one. And here for each of the images, you can also add a link. So from here, let's select this custom URL and set the URL from here. For this third one, let's add another image. Here with each of the slide, you can also attach a video. So from the video option, you can also embed your YouTube or Vimeo video link on here. Okay, let's quickly add all of the images for the other slides. And after adding all of this, from here, I want to select the effect to the cube. And here now, if we change our this slider, we can see this beautiful 3D effect. But we need to increase its height make it to 650 pixel and from this additional option you can also find some more option so for example if you turn off this auto play you can also do that from here now everything looks good but here if we look at our this final result we can see these light icons for our this arrows which looks much better than our this default icons and then here we also need to increase the gap between this slider and these dots but here if we go to our this style settings, here we can see there is no option for that. So we will do this by using our this custom CSS. Let's paste this code and here we can see these arrows and also these gaps. So here we'll get all of the custom CSS on my website. So I will also give that website link on my description. So from here you just need to copy and paste that code. So here if you look at this line of this code, so from here if you want you can also change the gap on here, okay? Now our slide is okay, but then we also need to add some text with each of our this slider. So for this, first of all we need to take a container and inside that we also need to take some container for our each of the slides. So let's also add another container inside that. From here, let's add an heading and also an text editor widget on here. So here, go to this heading and I want to change this text, make its alignment to the center and from the style, let's make its color to black and also from the typography, make some more changes. For this paragraph, let's also change this text from the style, also make its alignment to the center and also make its font size to 15 pixel. Also set a line height for that. Then here at the top, I also need to increase some spacing between this text and these dots. So for this slider settings, we also need to add some bottom margin. Okay, now here, this text is only for our this first slide. So for our other slide, we also need to add the other text so from here if we go to our this navigator here what we need to do we need to duplicate this container couple more times but before doing that i want to make it responsive on our tablet and mobile devices 
because if I first duplicate this and try to make it responsive, then I need to do the same thing for each of the container. So first let's go to the tablet device and here we don't need to do anything. I only need to reduce the size of the slider. So from this option, I want to make it to 520 pixel and also need some padding on the left and right. So from the container settings, make it to 20 pixel. But on the top and bottom, I want to increase that. Also, here I don't need this minimum height, so make it to zero. And here I want to show you another thing. So when we try to drag this slider, you can see sometimes it goes outside of our screen. So for some devices, in that case, it may show a horizontal scroll bar. So to get rid of this, we need to go to this container settings and make this overflow to hidden. Okay, now everything looks good. So let's check this on the mobile. Here we need to reduce the font size. So make it to 30 and also reduce the height of this slider. Okay, now let's go back to our desktop. And here, let's duplicate this container a couple more times. And inside that, let's change all of the content after changing all of this content, here I want to place all of the container at the same position of our first container. So for this, here let's go to this parent container and on this custom CSS, we need to paste some code. And then we also need to add some classes. So here, first of all, let's add the class slider-text. Then with our this main container, we need to add another class slider dash container and then with our this first container we need to add another class active then we also need to add some javascript code so from here let's search for an html widget and drag this to here okay let's drag this at the end of our this text editor widget and paste this code let's now save this and if we see it from our preview here now we can see it's perfectly working. So that's how you can create this 3D cube slider in your Elementor website. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.